Hi, welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Protect version 8.1.12. I'm going to be covering the new global task page that's in the operations center. And from this page, you're able to view, interrupt, resume, and cancel the different types of client sessions, jobs, and processes for all of the servers that that operations center manages. Now this will be for 15 days worth of activities and you do have to have the spoke and hub server be at version 8.1.12 or above. The first action you'll be able to do is for a single line item, you'll be able to review the activity log entries associated with that. You can also interrupt jobs by selecting a specific row and then interrupting it. And this will apply to retention type jobs that are in either running or sleeping state. Another action is to resume a job. So for an interrupted job, you can do the reverse and go ahead and resume that. And then for either client sessions or processes, you can select those and do cancels. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with the demo and I'll show you how this all works. To access the global task page, go into servers and then click on tasks. This will take you to a summary of all the completed and active tasks. These are for all the hub and spoke servers that are version 8.1.12 and above. And underneath the type column, you'll see that this will be for client session, server processes, as well as server jobs. If you select a single row, you'll see all of the activity log messages that are pulled from that Spectrum Protect server for that specific task ID. Above the list of tasks, you will see these shortcuts where you can rapidly access the active processes, client sessions, or jobs. Likewise, you could access the completed successful tasks, tasks in warning state, or failed tasks. So for instance, we can click on the active client shortcut and that will just bring up the client sessions that are active below. If we clicked on the failed task, that will show us all the failed processes, jobs, and client sessions. Now when you click on successful tasks, it's just going to show you the complete processes that succeeded. It does not include the client sessions. And this is simply because there were too many of them and it really slowed down the performance inside of the operation center. So if you do want to see the successful client sessions, you can go to the server page and click on the completed task bar. Okay, going back to servers tasks on this global task page, you'll see there's three other actions. We've got interrupt, resume, and cancel. So for instance, if you were to go into the client sessions, you could then choose one or more client sessions. And then once you've highlighted those, you can click the cancel button. It'll give you a screen asking if you wanna go ahead and cancel this, click cancel tasks. You'll see that the canceling is being done. And once that task is completed, you can go ahead and click close. Likewise, you could go into the active processes. If you click on that shortcut, you'll see the one active process. And then you could select one or more active processes for that specific server, and then click cancel if you wanted to stop them. Once you click cancel, it will ask if you want to cancel that process. Go ahead and click cancel tasks. And then once the cancel task has succeeded, of course, you can look at the details and then go ahead and click close. The next actions you can take from this page are to interrupt and resume jobs. So we're gonna start by filtering on the jobs that are in the state of sleeping. Here you'll see we have one retention set copy to tape, which is currently sleeping, waiting for the retention rule to kick off. So if we wanted, for instance, to go ahead and interrupt that so that perhaps you could order more tapes or clean a tape drive or whatever, you can go ahead and select that job and then click on interrupt. 
You'll be prompted to make sure you do want to interrupt that retention set. So click interrupt. And then as soon as the operation center refreshes, you'll see we no longer have any jobs that are in the sleeping state. Now the opposite of interrupt is to resume. So once again, if we go to the filter, and this time if we filter on state and interrupted, that'll give us a list of jobs that have been interrupted. And we'll go ahead and choose that retention set job that we just interrupted. And if we select that, then we can go ahead and click on resume. Now you could select one or more jobs if you wanted, but in our case, we're just doing this one specific job. And now if we were to go back into the jobs that were in the sleeping state, you'll see that job has been returned to the sleeping state and is no longer in the interrupted state. Now these functions will be grayed out if they do not apply to this type of task. So for instance, with a job, all you can do is interrupt or resume it. You cannot cancel it. So the cancel will be grayed out and it will give you a pop-up as to why it has been grayed out. And so you can see in this case, to terminate a retention set job, you need to go to the retention sets page. So in summary, I've shown you the new global task page where you can view, interrupt, resume, and cancel the tasks for all the Spoken Hub servers being monitored by the Operations Center. Thank you very much.